a 5G NR benchmark study for Verizon's 5G ultra wideband. This is N77. This is C band. This is a big deal here. Everybody knows that this is the newest flavor of mid band 5G. Verizon's going to have a ton of it. They got 60 megahertz now. It's moving to almost 200 megahertz in some places. Uh, you know, AT&T is going to have a ton of it. T-Mobile even bought some. All right, so how good is it? We got our first indications of some actual, you know, data collected and uh, put together in this report. I think this was from February. So very, very recent, you know, to the launch of N77 from Verizon. Okay, so they were testing the 5G ultra wideband network. Uh, clearly very different than the nationwide 5G that Verizon offers on, you know, N5. 15 to 20 times higher capacity. All right, no doubt. You got way more spectrum. You've got massive MIMO technologies. It's it's better. So they did some testing over 500 kilometers, drive testing the N77. They said they were connecting a good majority of the time. So that's good. That means it's reaching. You know they're building it fast and all of that. Uh, looks like they also tested it and compared it to N41 for T-Mobile, the 2.5 gigahertz, and they said performance and coverage says here that it seems to be pretty comparable. Well, that's good. I mean, I, I'd i hope so. You know, these higher mid-band frequencies, you know, people seem to like low-band for whatever reason. I say just densify, and this kind of proves my point. Anyways, it says here, uh, band 41 modestly exceeded the areas with band 77. I'm guessing that's just they've had more time to upgrade towers, so that would probably be the reason why. Uh, but the band 77 uplink coverage and overall performance was superior to that of N41. So it looks like it performed better. You know, there's a lot of factors. There's backhaul, there's types of gear, you know, which companies, which vendors, who knows what it was. I have no clue. None of that was indicated. Anyways, um, s- some important things here. They tested on the S21 FE. It would have been nice if they would have had access to the newest Galaxy. We can get some of that here. Uh, the FDD, TDD, carry aggregation, and uplink over the 256 QAM technology is alive and well. That's why they're probably getting that really good performance, even on edge cell, you know, even with, you know, a lot of space and range performing better than the N41. This is probably why. Average throughput spectral efficiency better than band 41. I'm really surprised by this. Uh, because the band 41 is a lower frequency. It's 2.5 gigahertz, and this is 3.7 gigahertz. But for whatever reason, they're saying the N77 is better. Uh, Fixed wireless access in the works. All right, so they're saying in rural America where Verizon is putting up all this N77, go ahead and use the fixed wireless access as a revenue stream. They're saying there's a lot of excess capacity from it. And by the way, guys, we're on 60 megahertz of it. Verizon's going to put 160 to 200 megahertz on air. Wow, this is so encouraging. I'm very happy about this. Here's the table of contents. Here's all the stuff that you guys can check out, the different figures and stuff you can get with this report if you decide you want to purchase it and get access to it. What do you guys think about some of those conclusions? What do you think about some of those numbers and some of the experiences? You happy about this? I'm excited. Competition alive and well amongst the carriers. Better technology is going out to customers. Thanks for watching. Uh, Give this video a like, share, and... um, Subscribe for more and then turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there. Get early access and exclusives not found anywhere else. Uh, Discounts on promotions on Los Mobile. My Twitter and email in the description box. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.